If you've ever taken one of these cars through some twisties, one thing you will realize is that in these stock seats you are sliding around quite a bit. And I don't even slide around as much as some people would because I have leather, or not leather, I have fabric seats. But today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some Sentra SER seats into my Maxima. Here we have a driver and passenger. Passenger is obviously pretty clean. I need to actually clean it though. Uh, it's dirty. And then the driver's side is pretty clean now. I ended up cleaning it a few nights ago, but it just has a little tear right here, which is the only issue, but I figured I would get the seats just to see how I liked them and really feel them out. And then if I do find another set, I'll end up getting those um, that isn't ripped. But yeah, today I'm gonna go over the process of putting these in. It's basically bolting, you just have to drill some holes and it really goes in the car just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over that stuff today. All right, so right now I've already got the driver's side seat out. Uh, this is an electric seat. This is a stock seat. You guys probably know what it's like already. Um, stock bolstering is pretty decent, honestly. It's just really wide. On the center seat, as you see, these come out quite far and they're very stiff. So pretty excited to have these in the car. To get the stock one out, it's just four 14 mil bolts here, 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 and here. Um, and to put it in, I'm going to show you guys, you have to drill out the stock brackets on the SER seats. So you will need to get the stock rails with these seats. Um, they're always going to be manual. I don't think these came in electric rails. So that's the only thing you're going to lose on the SER seat swap is the electric rails. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys where to drill right now. Alright, so these two front holes right here will line up just fine. All you have to do is re-drill these rear holes and I'll show you right now. There's a little tab that sticks off the stock rail that'll go into that little hole here. And then as you see, they're just both off by about half an inch, I'd say. So what you want to do is take a punch, punch a hole in the middle of it, and then just drill it out with a drill bit. And then once you can put bolts in there, tighten it down, you should be all set to go. All right, so I've drilled all the holes and done everything. And right now I have the finished product in the car. Um, here it is. So far, I do really like them. When you sit in it, it does feel super buckety, which is sweet. And yeah, all the holes line up, everything after you drill them. I'll go ahead and show you guys the back here. There they are, drilled into the brackets right here and here. They all fit in, seat is solid in there. Don't forget to hook up your seat belt. Connect. All right, so I know I didn't go much detail with the driver's side, but I'm gonna go ahead and go over some more detail on the passenger side. Uh, here's what I did first, is to mock up the actual brackets. The two front bolt holes will line up just fine. So just put bolts inside of those. And then you want to slide the seat forward. I'll just do that right now. Slide it forward as far as you can get it, just so that you have a really good um, amount of room to work with in the rear. Then, there's a little tab right here on the center brackets that'll actually line up with that hole. And you see, it is pretty far off of both holes, so what I'd suggest doing is getting a punch like this, punching holes about in the center, like right there probably, and then drilling it out with a half inch drill bit just so that you're actually able to fit bolts through. All right, and after you drill those holes, this is where you'll be at. As you see, they are lined up on here. Well, not lined up, but the holes are in. Uh, seat fits in just fine. I'll go ahead and slide it back and show you the front as well. The fronts aren't even tight yet. Let me actually get the ratchet to tighten them right here and we'll go ahead and zip those down just to show you seat fits in the car um, angle everything is proper there it is headrest fit as you see seats are basically fully installed on my driver's side I had to put a little spacer on it to make this side sit up a little higher uh, it might have just been me it might have been the seat that's off, but it seemed to kind of angle down, so I ended up putting spaces under that, and it feels good. But the passenger side, uh, even as it sits right now, it feels really good. Uh, it really doesn't need to be adjusted at all, so that's really how you do it, and I highly suggest this mod. These seats feel so sick. I've driven around with this thing for a little bit now, just today, like to and back from some places, and it feels so good. So I definitely, remember getting the, or definitely recommend getting these if you do want to feel better inside your car. So yeah, glad I could help somebody out. I always seem to be at this spot in the end of my videos for outros, but 
Uh, basically, I'm just going to go over the seats again. This is my short install video. As you see, they fit in quite good. Uh, obviously, they're not in the best condition, but these hold you super good. Uh, I've had no complaints with these on back roads. They feel amazing. And again, very easy to put in. You do end up sitting lower in the car, so it's amazing for that reason as well. And they do look pretty cool. If you can see inside of there, uh, you know they're not stock whenever you see this car driving by. They are definitely not stock seats. They look so good in here. And I'm hoping to find gray and black ones one day, or black on black. Gray and black would go perfect with my interior just because it is a gray and black interior. But I would also go with the black. I do like the red, but if I found another set that didn't have a tear in the driver's side like that, and it happened to be gray and black, it'd be perfect because I do think I would enjoy those a little bit more. But these seats feel amazing. I highly recommend doing this. And if you can get them pretty cheap too, definitely go for it. And these also come with airbags. If you have the airbag seat option, it should work out just fine with no issues.